Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. This video has been highly, highly, highly requested from all of you. Today we are going to break down exactly all the steps we took before we officially launched our site and our products. If you haven't seen our other videos, we broke down how much we spent to launch our brand and we ended up sharing that we broke even by the end of our launch day. So today I wanted to go into different strategies that we used, did it work, did it not work and share with you the results. So let's head on into the video. We started all our pre-launch activities more or less a month before we actually launched just so we could build some initial hype around our brand and about our candles before we actually went live. Very first thing that we did and what we recommend for you to do is to create a coming soon page on your website. We had this up on our website where it basically just said a little bit about us and then it had a bar at the bottom where users could sign up with their email and then they'll be notified. This is such a great way for you to capture leads and for you to send EDMs to those customers when you launch and keep up with just generic marketing that you want to promote to them. We kept this page until the day we launched because we thought that it was important to just have something up regardless whilst we were working on the site on the back end. You never want to have a site where people visit and it's just completely empty. And we just thought that this was a good way to still capture leads whilst we were working on our site. The second thing we did, and you probably hear me talking about it all the time, but it was to create social media pages. So we ended up signing pretty much every free platform that you could think of. We had a Pinterest, a YouTube, a TikTok, and an Instagram. But the two social platforms that we focused heavily on before we launched was Instagram and TikTok. We created Instagram on the 13th of August and TikTok on the 10th of August. So more or less a month before we actually launched. And we started by posting pictures of our products. So we did twice a day at the very start and we posted all of our signature scents on one tile each just so we could promote them more. And then we also talked about our brand, what makes us different, what makes us unique. We also tried to frame TikTok and Instagram really separately. In Instagram, it's all about the visuals. It's about what's snappy and what looks good. And then TikTok is more behind the scenes content. And we kind of shared them both. So on our Instagram, we'd share our TikTok page. And on our TikTok, we'd share our Instagram page. What did really well for us was we shared the personal gains and losses within our small business on TikTok. And we shared TikTok here about our packaging loss and that ended up going viral and got us 150,000 views overnight. And overnight we grew about a thousand TikTok followers. We also started posting and promoting our products separately. And I remember we did this one TikTok about our sample kits, which went semi viral and overnight it grew our email subscribers by three times. So it goes to show you that nurturing your social media accounts will bring you great rewards. And we started off with zero followers. So no one knew about us, not even our friends. We kept it private from them until we were ready to tell them. So the only people that knew were us and our partners. So we were able to build it up from scratch by using really great hashtags on Instagram. So super niche and location based tags, not just hashtag candles, but we used hashtag Sydney candles, hashtag sustainable candles. And then on TikTok, we were doing the same with small business related hashtags. After the initial launch of our products, we began posting on social once a day, but we still decided to nurture other aspects of our business. And the second thing that we did was we sent out PR boxes to 30 influencers around Australia. First we sourced which influencers we wanted to send to, and then we reached out to them via email to make sure that they were happy with us sending them products. What we wrote in our email was a little spiel about us and what we do, what makes us unique. And then we also introduced them to the brand and the sustainability aspect behind it. We also sent them a media kit with the choices that they could pick. And we told them we could send them a signature scent as well as a custom candle that we created for them. Luckily for us, most of the influencers that we contacted said yes. And then we ended up sending it to them ASAP about a week before we launched. We wanted to gain social presence on Instagram, which was why we used so many influencers around Australia 
and diverse influencers too so we could get the most out of their community. Luckily for us, they were really friendly, really warm and all of them ended up posting on their stories about I think three to five frames each which was really good and we got so many visitors from our influencer posts and we ended up gaining a lot a lot of followers after that and we got a lot of hype as well. If you want a separate video on how we contact influencers and our influencer strategy, leave a comment below. The third thing we did was optional but we decided that it could be good for us to try it out was to write a press release and send it to publications. I have a background in PR and marketing so writing a press release was easy for me but if you don't have experience, we do recommend checking out some of these websites where you could hire freelancers to help you write a press release. The purpose of press releases is to introduce your brand to the media so that they have a good story to write if they want to choose to write. Our press release was really similar to the introduction we gave influencers, except we made it more professional. We added quotes from the co-founders ourselves, and we also added in the media kit for them as well. After that, we collated an Excel sheet of all the publications that we know across Australia that we want to target. We were really broad. We didn't want to, I guess, put ourselves in a box just yet. So we decided to target every and any publication that we can think of. To target publications is really easy. All you do is go on their website and click contact and you could find editors within different regions. So for us, we were doing all of Australia. After we sent out our press release, at the very end of our email, we mentioned if they wanted any samples of our candles. We were willing to give candles away if it meant that they could have a chance to smell them and potentially write about us. After that, we tracked their replies and made sure that all their questions were answered and we were really lucky to have Time Out Melbourne and Time Out Sydney feature us in one of their articles. So for a business that hadn't already launched, we were already getting some press from the public and from publications. So it was really amazing to see and it was such a big achievement on our part. Like I also mentioned press releases aren't mandatory in your pre-launch strategy, but we do recommend it because it's such a good way to get your brand out there. And we had two features written about us and now there's more and more as people search up your brand they'll see that oh, okay timeout has written about us so it just builds your reputation and credibility and it's also really good for search engine when people are searching about you after all of those strategies that we implemented the very very last thing we did was we offered a pre-launch one week before we officially launched that was a really really good tactic to get people who are already following you interested and it kind of makes it an exclusive pre-sale our pre-launch we launched with a limited number of cents i think we did about 10 of each and a limited number of sample kits so we told them that it was an exclusive drop we made it super hyped up among social media and then we dropped our launch I think it was in the afternoon on a weekend and we sent out an EDM to our emailing list first. So we told them that they had 24 hours exclusive access before we told the general public. And then the next day we shouted it on Instagram and TikTok just to make sure that everyone knew about it. Our pre-launch EDM is really different to the ones that we do now. It was quite long because it reminded people what was unique about our brand and what we did that was different. And on our pre-launch day, we actually ended up selling out of most of our signature scents and we sold out completely of our sample kits. So we really built a hype around the fact that it was super exclusive and not everyone could get access to it. Then on actual launch day, the hype we built around it was incredible. We actually got two influencers that posted on their page about us launching, which we didn't ask for and we never expected. It was just something that they did and we thought that it was really cool and awesome. But we posted a lot of stories before we launched with our faces, with us telling them how excited we are. And then we did a post on 1 p.m. before we launched. We also did a launch EDM and we did a launch TikTok as well. So every social media platform that we've hit and we've already got a community, we were yelling about the fact that we were going to launch and that really worked building up the hype around it. We also gave an exact time to when we would be launching, which I think is really important because then you could play around with three hours left, two hours left, and then add in a timer as well on your Instagram. We think that's that played a really vital part in how we launched because people were actually waiting for it. And before we took the website off of live, I remember there were like 20, 30 people already waiting for our website to launch or for our site. So that was super exciting and it's definitely something that I recommend you guys doing. 
And that is pretty much it. Those are our five main strategies that we did before we launched and how we broke even on launch day, gained 100 orders and how we are almost a six figure business by six months of launching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do have any questions, please feel free to pop them down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to our channel. We are trying to post once a week and we'll be giving you guys lots of tips, lots of advice and we'll also be doing vlogs as well. So I'll see you soon. Bye.